One of the most common questions we get from non-farmers all the time is, is Roundup safe for humans? So where do we turn for answers? Do we look at science as a determining factor? I do. I look at science for a lot of things in life. Well, what, what does that do to the body? Is it a possible carcinogen? Those kinds of things. Science can answer the questions. How about social media? You know, if you go on social media, you can type in the same question, how safe is Roundup for humans? And you're gonna get all kinds of crazy things that, that may or may not have any scientific backing. All right, so first of all, understand this. With Roundup, it works on an enzyme that's found only in plants. So when we start talking about the active ingredient glyphosate, there's no possible physical way it's ever going to hurt a human being because we don't have that enzyme in us. That's awesome. I'm so excited about that as a farmer and as someone who works in ag. You know, if I look back 30, 40, 50 years ago, we did have a lot of dangerous products that we were using. But fortunately today, most of those products are gone and they're replaced with dramatically safer products like Roundup, for example. And again, it just works on an enzyme that's found only in plants. One other measurement of safety that you'll find right on the MSDS sheets for any pesticide that's out there is something called LD50. The government uses LD50 or the lethal dose to kill 50% of a population of whatever they're testing on. They'll use this LD50 as a, a rating scale to see which products are more dangerous and how much of a dosage of certain products it would take. Now when you look at things like caffeine, it's something I consume every day by choice. Well, caffeine, the lethal dose, the LD50, is 200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So you say, oh, okay, well, it would take a lot of caffeine to get things done. The LD50 on Roundup is 5,000 milligrams per kilogram, so it would take a lot more Roundup per kilogram of body weight to harm me than it would caffeine, which I choose to drink every day. So our whole point here is simply look at science and the fact that, hey, over the last, whatever it's been now, 40, 50 years that Roundup's been out or Roundup's been in testing, it's never been found to be a carcinogen. It works on an enzyme found only in plants. It is ridiculously safe compared to the products we used to use years ago. So don't get us wrong. We're not saying, oh, we wanna just go ahead and drink a whole bunch of glyphosate or anything like that. But what we are saying is, when this product is used according to the label, it's very, very safe for our environment. Well, that's a good thing, Brian, because there are a lot of weeds to kill out there, including our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 